Today uh, we are gathering for the last time of our 12 energy council meetings this year and we will have very long and substantial agenda. Uh, crucially, we must agree on gas market correction mechanism. Uh, the leaders have given the energy minister's clear task to reach an agreement today and um, we have worked very closely with the presidents and the member states and I strongly believe that uh, the deal is within reach. Of course, uh, it requires a very strong spirit of compromise from everyone. And uh, and Commission is uh, here and we aim to facilitate um, the efficient and, and balanced um, approach. And the saying that, uh, the market correction mechanism is not the only tool in our toolbox. We also need to reach a uh, final agreements on other proposals. Proposals uh, that allow us to make um, joint gas purchase a reality, that allow us to accelerate renewables permitting, that allow us uh, to start uh, work to create a complementary gas benchmark and to strengthen the solidarity between member states. And uh, I hope that the Czech Presidency will conclude this very positive note and uh, will reach also on general approaches on um, two other very important files, the Repower EU Directive and uh, Methane Regulation. And if, uh, if we will conclude the day like this, then uh, energy ministers uh, have been very successful on legislative uh, side and also addressing this current energy crisis. And, uh, and, uh, making us stronger and uh, less resilient, uh, well, more resilient and less uh, dependent on Russian, uh, Russian uh, natural gas. So, long day ahead of us, um, many difficult files, but already last week I saw in the room a willingness to find a agreement. I believe that these additional six days were necessary and, uh, and um, we will, we will uh, conclude all these necessary files. Thank will you. you. Sorry. Will you conclude uh, by qualified majority in the end of the day? This is the decision that the presidency has to make. Do you think this would be a good solution? Because Germany, for instance, said this should be uh, unanim unanimity. So far, we have been able to um, to negotiate the broadest available uh, support for all the files, but. Uh, Already since the beginning of this year, uh, there have been uh, agreements uh, without unanimity in TT Council and uh, TT Council decision-making process doesn't need unanimity. We do have QMV in this regard. Potential gas price cap below uh, 200 euros is quite a long way below what the Commission originally proposed. Um, what problems come with that, do you think? We warned uh, the Member States about the risks and um, if the parameters will be lowered, then safeguards have to be strengthened. And this is exactly what has happened. Um, there are now some additional safeguards in place and, uh, and uh, we are aware of the possible risk to the financial markets and we do believe that we cannot uh, loosen the safeguard side in this proposal. What are these additional safeguards? Could you be a little bit more specific? The specific uh, mechanism, how to trigger the mechanism and also uh, what uh, might happen and how we can automatically suspend it. Thank you. And we will have a press conference, maybe even two. <laughs> See you. Thank you.